Hey everybody, this is Vincent Webb with the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service and we are partnering with Guilford County Partnership for Children and celebrating Week of the Young Child. Today, for our story time, we have Oh Say Can You See? All About Flowering Plants by Bonnie Worth and illustrated by Aristides Ruiz. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, say can you see? By Bonnie Worth and illustrated by Aristides Ruiz. I'm the cat in the hat, and I think that you need to come take a look at this thing called a seed. From the giant gum tree to this very small weed, every flowering plant started out as a seed. Plants are so useful to me and to you. Can you think of the ways? I will make, I will name you a few. The paper for books and the cloth for your pants came from trees and from cotton. That's two kinds of plants. The grains and the fruits and the veggies you eat, why? They come from plants too. And here's something neat. In desert some woods and rainforest thick grow plants that can make you feel well when you're sick. Yes, plants serve us well and fill so many needs, and flowering plants all started as seeds. Just what is a seed? You are wondering, maybe. Well, you might say a seed is a tiny plant baby. The best way for you to see just what I mean is to take a close look at a seed called a bean. Like all seeds, a bean comes in three basic parts. Thing one and thing two bring on the charts. Part one is the first that I think you should know. It's the part that's the baby. It's called embryo. To sprout it needs food like you and I do, which brings us to seed part numeral two. It's called the coat Don. Say, isn't that fun? This bean seed has two, actually, but some others have one. Let, last comes the third part that you need to know. It's the coat which protects our cute bean embryo. To sprout a bean seed, it keep it moist, but not wet. Keep it covered with dirt, and then see what you get. In seven or so days comes the part that I love. A root spreads below and a stem shoots above. Now in order to show a grown bean plant to you, we've traveled in time for some months maybe too. Thing two calls the part above the ground the shoot system. Thing one calls the part under the ground, the root system. To get a good look at the roots underground, it is better to make like a mole I have found. Roots are not pretty, they're twisty and hairy, and some roots look even a little bit scary. Roots anchor a plant and help it stand true. Roots suck up the water and minerals too. And roots keep the soil from just washing away that's pretty important now, wouldn't you say? We've talked about roots. We have learned about them. And now it is time we moved on to the stem. The stem is a pipe through which water shoots. It's absorbed from the soil and passed up through the roots. It shoots through the plant, and next, as you'll see, the leaves each turn into a food factory. Just like the rhinos protected with horns, the stem of a rose is protected with thorns. Leaves come in all shapes and all sizes, I found. Some small and some spiky, some big and some round. But the thing that all leaves have in common is this. They make their own food by photosynthesis. I say this quite loudly. I don't mean to be rude, but... 
plants are the only living things on earth that make their own food. To do this, plants need water, minerals, and sun. And that's why the daytimes when food making is fun. Food making is done. For your information and also for fun, hop in my shrink upper and let's see how it's done. The leaf takes in CO2 through a stoma or pore. It works like a mouth and that's what it's for. Then the air gets mixed in with the water and sun and that's how the food making factory is run. I see by my clock that now is the hour to drop in and say a hello to the flower. Plants breathe out a gas that we breathe in. The name of that gas is oxygen. The two, thing two has a chart he will share with you that shows what the parts of a flower all do. In the pistol are ovals. They're unfertilized seeds. The stamen holds pollen, which an oval needs. An unfertilized ovule will not ever grow, and pollen is the stuff that will fix that, you know. A flower's own pollen, or another's okay. That's where the bees play a role, by the way. To make honey bees need to get nectar from flowers. They fly and they gather this sweet stuff for hours. The pollen sticks onto their bodies and legs. It falls off and sometimes it reaches the eggs. An oval that's fertilized becomes a seed. Around it grows flowers, upon which we feed. When we say the word fruit, do you know what that means? It means olives, nuts, grains, plantains, and, and tangerines. And apples and oranges and pineapples too. Mm. All kinds of plant foods that are healthy for you. Some fruits are juicy and messy to munch on. Dry ones like nuts are nice to crunch on. Not all plants with seeds give us edible fruit. All plants have seeds that look weird or look cute. But bird seeds are hitchhikers that ride on your clothes, and dandelion seeds sometimes fly off your nose. Some seeds come in pods that explode like a sneeze. Other seeds may have wings and can fly on a breeze. But whether they stick or they blow or they fly, Seeds bring us life, and now you know why. I see the sun setting, and here comes the moon. Your mother is calling. Your dinner is soon. I hope you have learned from my little seed talk, and now I will climb up this giant beanstalk. Right, that is the end, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you have enjoyed our story time for today and continue to celebrate the week of the young child. All right, take it easy.